Good evening, and welcome back to Factory Town, where we need to work on some magical research points, because we need it to unlock the things to get the next tech level. So, we have got this wonderful magic setup going on here. We've got the, uh, the mana brick gun on there, but we can't get any mana pipes because we haven't unlocked it yet. So, how do we do that? How do we unlock mana pipes? We need a maze tower. That's what we need. Um, we need a maze tower. Uh, the maze tower will create magical knowledge tomes, which is a book, mana crystals, and a cloak. Not quite sure why it's a cloak, but it is a cloak. So, okay. So how do we do this? How do we do this? Well, I think we're going to have to build a little bit of a chain to get this going here. Um, because, yeah, we're going to need a few things to tap into that so okay uh we do have mana crystals here so we can get out of those that's not a problem uh i think what i'm gonna do i think what i'll do is let's uh down this here and let's put another town center in let's put another town center in um and we'll start a magical one like we'll put it like here so we can cover this area and it will hopefully cover this. We might move it over here a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm going to put a new town center in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually move this town center a little tiny bit like this. Um, and then we're going to copy a new one and put it there. And the reason I'm doing that is because we want to upgrade the town centers. And to do that, they need certain requirements. So to upgrade the first one requires eight houses linked to it. If you move a current town center out, put a new one in, you can just spam through and upgrade all the way to whatever level the current one is um and then you can just take it away put that one back that turns your productivity uh oh i've got to actually um reapply that because when you move it away it loses its bonus because it no longer has the requirements available um and we're gonna put this down here so i want to put it sort of but i want to get those buildings involved i'm not too fussed about the um the mines I think the town centre here is maybe going to move. Um, oh, we got a... Ah, oh, yes, 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 we were going to use this, weren't we, to get cloaks? Yes, indeed. Okay, okay. So, in that case, let's move... Oh, we're doing a, we'll move the town centre down here. Let's put it there. And we will... Adjust up these things. And by that, I mean we'll run a road down here. And we'll run a road down here. Boom. That will give you the bonus from this one. It's got no bonus because um, it's currently working on um, nothing. It's got no houses. It's got no nothing going on to it. So we need to figure that out for it as well. Um, but what we can do is we can page up this and just run these uh, like this. And... Uh... Oh dear. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Let's do this. Double... in there so then we can just run the um the pups inside do, 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 do. oh no okay. and then the uh town the uh, the road because look underneath So, with that done, um, want we'll to put a couple of houses in here, I suppose. Wouldn't hurt. Wouldn't hurt to have some houses in here. Uh, I'm going to put them um, just along the road like this. Do seven, so we can uh, we can get out the side of this. Um, let's do eight. We'll do eight houses here. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to um, grab... 
mana crystals we want to make books and we also want to do berries to get cloaks here so we need books as well books are trees and cotton so okay okay so let's build a farm we'll get the uh, thing done here so we'll put a farm over here somewhere doesn't really matter um we will get cotton oh, oh. and we'll turn one side of it into cotton um in fact do you know what we're also going to do and then we're going to turn the other side into berries do and do that there you go so half of it is cotton half of it is berries so this is cotton this is berries and then that's all cotton that's all so yeah okay and then we will grab a shoot go up by two and we're going to come along like this and uh Turn it into there like that. But okay. And you are gonna grab nothing because we haven't clicked on the farm. Um and we haven't auto managed it. So there we go. Boom. And now you are gonna grab berries. Now the way this trades is basically you feed it the berries, it gives you the thing. Simple as that. This is there's no extra you just you just feed it whatever item and it spits out the item you need. So there is berries coming out. Awesome. Okay, let's put this here. Um let's um do this and this is going to be filtered to be cloak so there's the cloak coming out okay the cotton will come out into a workshop we'll make uh cloth oh let's do that and you're going to be cotton okay and then the cotton with the cloth will go to um another workshop which is going to be sat like here and this one's going to make books from paper and cloth so we need paper okay we need uh trees let's grab a couple of these over here oh we got some dragon fruit over there nice okay uh didn't you want dragon fruit no you want apple juice and dragon punch that's still not a bad deal that one um pink dragon punch needs a fair bit but dragon punch is not an episode tomatoes here as well um not fussed about the tomatoes we're gonna get rid of those uh or a couple of them anyway uh forester we need a forester there um we could put forester in fact you know what no let's let's not try and find a resource let's put the forester here you see a forester is slightly larger than a farm and um, so you can uh uh, just increase this like this and do this one two three four like so uh, we will grab a shoot pitch up pitch up um shoot will go out. actually nope we need a lumber mill okay lumber mill sit there pitch up the shoot out to the lumber mill lumber mill is going to make paper paper is going to travel along and into there you're going to do you're going to do that okay, and then you're going to do that but um okay and then all you need left is mana crystals which are over here i don't think mana crystals can travel via shoot no they can't they have to be done by conveyor belt so we're going to have a very large floating conveyor belt because it's the easiest way to do things although no we're not no we're not we're going to do our own thing over here there um, get a mine put a mine in um there you will output you will output to there you are going to do mana crystals you want fuel um oh nearby it's a little bit of coal there let's do that let's mine the coal so we'll put that there and um i'm going to I'll put you into there. So we need to remove some resources here. Like that. I'll put you into there. And, uh, 
Oh, uh, oh, yes, yes. If you put a mine down and it has two resources to mine, it doesn't pick any. It doesn't pick any, and it will let you manually pick the one you want. So I'm going to pick coal. And, okay, unpause the game. You will start getting coal, and coal will come down into here. And we can do that. Okay. Then we get ourselves a barn. Not that we really need a barn, but I'm going to have a barn because of storage. And there we go. Okay. Okay. So that should work. All we need left is a well or two. Um, put two in. Go underground. Connect the wells up to here. Okay. But, uh, you're going to need to in some more, but you need. Uh, Obviously, for these to grow, that's fine. You just go through the process of growing that. You're doing this here. You are actually producing... Oh, because you had some wood because you chopped down some trees here. That's why. So, yeah. Um, uh, you would actually transfer wool to planks, which isn't so bad, but we don't need that. We don't need that. So, so yeah. So, this will work, and this will start producing, at some point, magical knowledge tomes. Here we go. Here we go. We've got one book coming in. And there it is. There's our first magical knowledge tome. Awesome. Okay. We want to deliver that to here. Uh, where? What was what was that? What was that? Um, I want this one. Bring you out to here. On a road from here to there. Okay. So we want to deliver the magical knowledge tome. Now we don't have to deliver it over to here to sell. We can sell it here because we have houses here to sell. Um, so um, let's get ourselves a library. No, a school. It's a school. School is one that sells knowledge. We will put the school here. Um, it's got to be there. That's the closest it can be. Uh, and then we will run a conveyor belt from here to here because we just do it by conveyor belt rather than having people do things. So there we go. Here we comes, here we comes. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Our first mana book. It looks very flat. Um, so it's obviously not a very detailed tome. It's just uh, probably a couple of pages, maybe a pamphlet. It says mana is good. Now we have one magical research point. Hurrah! We only need 50 more um, to get magical trans transition, and that will. Um, unlock the mana connector, which I believe unlocks um, the mana pipe. Both mana transmission, yeah. Okay, so we need 50, and we currently have one. So this is going to take a little while to do because we've got to wait for the trees to wake up. I could put the trees over here and do it, but I'll wait for this to wake up and do its thing here. Um, you're not really getting a great deal. I need to balance this farm as well. Um, let's um, put five workers in there. Let's put five workers in here. Okay. Should be good. Um, I might also do a little bit of a trickery here. Um, let's get ourselves a... Um, what was it? What was it? What was the building? What was the building? Go over to this one here. Uh, we want the general store. Let's get ourselves a general store. I put the general store there and then i'm going to um do that okay so Oops. Hold on, hold on. I'll get this right in a minute. Right, go like that. And then go down. Come along here. Plug into there. Like that. Okay. And then I'm going to get a pusher. Oh, if I spell it correctly, it would probably help. Well, pusher. Like that. And then we're going to delete. Um... Pusher will push into here, so this will always get cloaks first. If this is not using the cloaks, the cloaks will go down and they will sell. 
Now, not only will they sell, they will start upgrading the houses because obviously they need experience to start upgrading. So the cloaks can sell. Here we go. Bump cloaks down there, and you'll see pop, 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 pop. There you go. They're starting to get things. They all reach level two. They're all leveling up. Everything is awesome and wonderful. Fantastic. So yeah, we can sell some cloaks as well that we're trading, which is awesome. It's not exactly expensive to trade them, so that worked out pretty fun. Okay. Okay. So yep, level three, nice. Obviously, they're not getting all their bonuses that they want. Um, we should put a well in as well for them. That would um a well as well. Uh there and uh go on the ground. Just because we can and we know one well can deal with uh, up to 10 houses so that'll eventually get there it's a little bit of money coming in it's not a great deal but it's money and it's a bit of happiness as well and if we get a happiness bonus then these we get 1.65 because we have a, a little bit of happiness so they get boosted they go faster these are not because they're too far away i don't think at level 10 i could cover this and this but we could always move this further along because it's just got inputs so um yeah, get rid of that. Uh, we could always grab all this here, move it over to here, move the town center to here, which will get these as well. And then that can come in and we, yeah, so we have that option. I'm not gonna do it right now. Um, it's fine, this this doesn't need to be any faster because it's not generally any faster because uh, we're waiting for this. Um, let's have a look at the magic speciality very quickly. Uh, do, 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 do. Here we go magic uh what is required requires an enchanter and two magic forges and if anything see under that uh town speciality you've got all those goods there the mana crystals fire water earth air um steam pipes mana brick all that sort of stuff anything that's in that list has a chance to double so it's two times that output which means it's 70 percent chance to have a two times output because we're level seven town center so fantastic you don't need any houses excuse me don't need any houses in order to uh get that working so you don't you don't have to have any uh um any houses connected to it it purely can just give a bonus to production without doing any um bonus to work production to happiness production so you can still do that you can like have you can level this this up to a level 10 um uh, town center here uh transfer it over and it will give you a hundred percent chance of productivity bonuses so without any houses so it could purely be an industrial area no houses in it at all just an industrial area um and it's just basically working on a hundred percent bonus for whatever goods you put into it so it can be very useful okay okay we are getting some paper coming in now because this is working here you are full okay right let's have a quick look at the numbers going on here so what do you need you need four paper in six seconds you produce two paper in four seconds so you need to be faster um you need to be twice the speed and that should be two paper in two seconds which is one paper a second and you need four and six which is just so yeah so it's not quite twice the speed but that's that's fine we can this should get enough paper in it there you go so it's going to start filling with paper that's not a problem awesome but um the berries are going to start drying up and then this is going to go onto here does mean that because we're bypassing this um if the uh if you don't need it that um there's going to be no buffer of them so this could run out at some point possibly uh, the biggest issue is we need um we need books so we need one every six seconds and you are technically making one every six seconds so yeah you should be running at full speed should be no problem here whatsoever okay the only issue we're going to ever have i think is berries um the berries might run out purely because we're harvesting too many of them because you want five every three seconds which is ridiculous um and it's not three seconds it says three seconds but look at it go look watch that flicker Boop. but that's not three seconds it's like instant it's basically instant trading so okay awesome 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 so we are getting some housing which is giving us some more red coins we're getting some science in we need 50 science uh, sorry uh, magic science so that's gonna be awesome um you are doing your thing here um you're producing one every eight seconds and you want 
one every six seconds. So you're not technically running fast enough. So I need to speed you up, which means we want two every eight seconds and you produce one every six seconds. So you need to go up to like three. I think the other one might be okay because um, even though it's 10, uh, Colby's is worth four. So he, he says seeing it drop down straight away. So you're starting to fill now. So that's cool. Okay. Yeah. We need to increase the cold as well. Let's uh, three workers or something. There we go. Okay. Okay. So we're at 207 out of 304 houses, 30 40, uh, people, sorry, 30, 40 houses. This is good. This is good. This is working fine. One every six and you're every six. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we'll get our 50 mana research. We will then be able to research the mana pipes and just tick them here and that will keep the mana pipes in. Then when we get the mana pipes, we can start using magic to do things, which is interesting. Very interesting. And we have our second town center. Um, what else have we got here? Um, wheat for coal is not too bad. One cut, that's not, yeah. So, we'll so, yeah, look at most of these already. Boom, boom. We've got another one there. What's this? Apple for berries is pretty good. One for four. That's pretty good. Fish for dragon fruit. One fish for four dragon fruit isn't so bad. It's cooked fish, though. So, and a necklace for a magic coke. Uh, no. No, they're about the same, to be honest with you. About the same. So, not really worth doing anything with that one. So, um, Okay. Okay. Need to mark which ones were good and which ones were bad. I can't remember. Dragon fruit for cooked beef isn't so bad. Tomatoes for metal rail is fantastic. We, we could shut down our metal rail production um, and just run it off this. Absolutely run it off this. In fact, let's let's do that. Let's do that. Let's let's dedicate this over here. And let's make a um Um, hot tomatoes. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, and then we'll get a barn in there, and we will just do that, and you're going to grab rails. There we go, and that will give us rails. Upgrade this all the way. Thousand rails, thank you very much, which means we can shut down uh this guy which is making rails for us um because we don't need them we don't need them anymore um you are making iron wheels so we could you still make iron wheels with you but um but that is a much better deal that's so much easier that's just going to be uh, i mean i could even leave it on just one one guy harvesting away um uh which just it just takes just harvest the the, uh, the tomatoes and bump four of them go in there we get a rail that's fine and it fills up slowly over time that's a really good deal rails you will use a lot specifically um like well for instance i should say not specifically but for instance if we wanted to sell our books we could jump them into a train here and train them over to here and um sell them and then the train comes back and picks up more and goes over and so i would like to do that um i feel like we're probably gonna uh do that we're gonna like have a town here a town here we're gonna have 10 of them and they're gonna kind of go around like maybe not in a circle it's more of a square because that's how this game works is it doesn't you, you can't do a circle rail track it's gonna be a square rail track with a nine points in it and then a tenth point in the center maybe depending on what we're specializing in grand schemes to come right now I just I'm just trying to get up the tech tree so we have everything unlocked and then we can sort of redesign things and spread things out and look at what we want to do and how we want to do it so yeah yeah okay so let us research mana transmission doom awesome Boom. mana crystals can be sent on this is via ethereal mana pipes so yes you can transfer mana crystals via pipes underground um and any type of mana as well so um not just mana crystals but um so instead of this like this we could put the pipes underground and save us some space uh, these can be transferred via um, uh, crystals as well, uh, via pipes as well, sorry. Uh, earth, air, fire, and water crystals can be transferred via mana. Piece. And anything that's magic, anything that's magic-based. So, let's change your recipe to be mana pipes. Yep, okay. boom. 
awesome. You also want steam pipes. I didn't. I skipped that part. I skipped that part, didn't I? Yes, I did. We have iron over here. Um, we've got coal coming in from this side. Eh, let's see if we can't get there. So, um, machine chop. Put a machine chop in there. You can put buildings just on top of crops and things. You can't put on top of trees, but on top of crops you can. It just disappears. It makes them disappear. So, um, if I put that there... You're going to want to do steam pipes, which requires iron plates. Um, we want a forge there, which is going to do... Oh, you can do steam pipes as well. Okay, so let's cut out the middle, man. And let's go directly to a forge. Um, the forge is one iron ore, which is actually technically better. Um, so, yeah. Okay, um, let's grab ourselves a mine. Put a mine in there. We'll run a shoot down and into the back of you like that. You will get the iron. You just need fuel. Uh, fuel I'm going to grab from the barn. So, uh, pitch up, pitch up. And then we'll uh, come out the centre here and come along into there. You are going to be coal. And then we'll just do that. We need one iron every three seconds and you're producing one every four so we need to increase your speed a little tiny bit so there we go and that's steam pipes and then we get enough steam pipes we'll start getting mana pipes awesome and we'll start producing mana pipes and when we get enough mana pipes everything will be fine uh this is actually very quick um it's like four you get four mana pipes to go from this so um it's actually very quick to fill this up so stage one for tech level seven is complete stage two is medical wraps so we're gonna need a medical place I think we should start another town somewhere and um, uh, look at that because I think, is there a medical speciality? Um, there is not. Farming, forestry, mining, processing, commerce, we're not really going to do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're going to do eight of them. Not ten, we're gonna do eight of them. Although actually didn't I say we was gonna do one per house thing, but that, that doesn't work. The one per house thing doesn't work because um uh, you have speciality, so we get, we have, we'll have to do eight town centers with everything. So um artistry, knowledge, knowledge. Knowledge is the one that has um the uh uh medicine stuff in it. So this will be a knowledge area. So so this will be a magic one and all the magic will be done around this thing here, and then We'll figure that out and then we'll have, yeah, I'll have to do eight town eight town centers so we didn't need that many only two extra town centers didn't need 10 in the end but that's okay that's okay commerce we're not going to do because it just consumes consumes more goods and i don't really want to consume more goods because uh we don't need money we don't need the money so okie dokie so let's leave this one here let's come back next episode and we will work on medical reps I might want to try and start doing the layout of the town. So we're going to have eight, eight um, places. And I suppose if we did a, we, yeah, actually, yeah, that worked. If we did a square, six. So three on one side, three on the other side is six, and then two in the centre. Um, so, and we just do a square. So we'll have uh, three, 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 and three, which is not three, three. So it's, it's um, but yeah, yeah, that'll be that'll be eight. So um, yeah, so our rail will be. And then we'll have a, a town there, town there, town there, 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 and uh, there. And that's our eight towns. So that'll work. And then we'll put like, the army center in. I feel like I've done this plan before. I feel like I've done this plan before, but it, I liked it. So we'll do it again. Yeah, and just a better rail system this time. Okay. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one, and I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.